Rocky Moor Rocks uh, reporting uh, from Down Under. Uh, there's an absolutely amazing uh, phenomenon uh, that's happening that has been uh, downplayed in the media, especially in the New Zealand media. But just let me go back a stage or two, because I've been looking at climate change for up to uh, eight years ago, and beginning, I think, in 2016, that's when we had the big El Nino, I noticed uh, a hot blob form um, in the Tasman Sea, probably in the winter, because I was watching it uh, for quite a few months before it was ever mentioned by Niwa, which is New Zealand's equivalent of NOAA. And, uh, yeah, sometime uh, they noticed it and it had the most incredible uh, effect on New Zealand. Um, and I just want to... And it didn't... It didn't go away. Uh, it was there. 2016, 2017, 2018. So more or less three years it was there all the time, didn't go away, and then it slowly dissipated over 2018 uh, as we've moved away from the previous uh, El Nino. So let's just have a look at, uh, at some of the things that they're saying. Uh, so they're saying, and they don't provide very much money, uh, context for this, this is absolutely unprecedented, a spike in water temperature of up to six degrees Celsius, and I don't know how to translate that into uh, into Fahrenheit, above average across a massive pa patch of ocean east of New Zealand, that's about a million square kilometres, uh, is likely to have been caused by an anti-cyclone weather system, a leading scientist here. Well, yeah, I'll come to that. Uh, so the last time round, and I thought at the time that this was absolutely amazing, uh, the Tasman Sea on that occasion uh, warmed on average by 3.7 degrees Celsius above uh, normal to reach 20.6 degrees with fish normally found in the tropics uh, staying uh, further south than they are supposed to. And of course, the New Zealand media uh, uh, just treat this as a local story and all they're interested in is the effect that it might have on New Zealanders and their ability to fish. Um, uh, what I would say about this, I mean, it's absolutely incredible, but ocean currents, I think, dictate that it's probably not going to have quite the same effect on on. Uh, New Zealand as the blob and the Tasman did uh, because it's in the middle of the Pacific and it's heading in an easterly direction towards um, South America. So that at least is what the scientists are saying. Um, so I just want to go on and read uh, one of the articles on this and then uh, just go on with a little bit of commentary. Seas have almost grown more acidic as they have absorbed uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. That last bit is something that you will never, ever see in the New Zealand media. Temperatures for all this, temperatures for the years 2010 with 2019 were about 1.1 above the average for the pre-industrial period. Uh, the preliminary findings of the WMO's annual state of the Global Climate Report released earlier this month found this year was likely to be the second or third warmest since um, records uh, began. I shall just uh, take this one article uh, from The Guardian uh, today. Uh, it's been in the news uh, quite a bit. Uh, hot blob, vast patch of warm water off New Zealand coast, puzzles scientists. An area of water in the Pacific Ocean off New Zealand is six degrees 
Celsius hotter than normal, possibly due to a lack of wind in the region. A spike in water temperature of up to 6 degrees above average across a massive patch of ocean east of New Zealand is likely to have been caused by an anti-cyclone weather system, <laughs> a leading scientist says. Appearing on heat maps as a deep red blob, the patch spans at least a million square kilometres, an area nearly 1.5 times the size of Texas or four times larger than New Zealand in the Pacific Ocean. James Rennick, the head of Geography, Environment and Earth Sciences at Victoria University in Wellington, said the scale of the temperature spike near the sparsely populated Chatham Islands archipelago was remarkable and had been building for weeks. It's now the biggest patch of above average warming on the planet right now. Normally the temperatures there are around 15 degrees. At the moment they are around 20 degrees, he said. Renwick said the blob could be linked to a rising atmosphere greenhouse gas emissions as a result of climate change, but he expected it was overwhelmingly due to natural uh, variability, a strong high pressure system and a lack of wind. It's not unusual to see patches of warmer water off New Zealand, but this magnitude of four, five, up to six degrees is pretty unusual. Uh, it's probably a thin layer of ocean that has warmed up and there hasn't been any wind to cool it for weeks. Anticyclones form when a mass of air cools, contracts and becomes dense, increasing the weight of the atmosphere and the surface air pressure. Renwick said a surge in ocean heat over a short period of time could be difficult for uh, local marine life if it penetrated far beyond the surface. Ocean temperatures are less prone to sharp changes than those on land due to the amount of energy required to warm an area of water. He said scientists would study the spike in coming weeks and uh, gain more insight into its cause and local impact. It followed a marine heat wave two summers ago that propelled uh, New Zealand's hottest summer on record, more than three degrees above average, and led tropical fish from Australia being fish found along the country's coast. Across the globe, the World Meteorological Organization says the last decade has almost certainly been the hottest on record for land and oceans. Seas have almost grown more acidic as they have absorbed uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. That last bit is something that you will never ever see in the New Zealand media. Temperatures for all this, temperatures for the years 2010 with 2019 were about 1.1 above the average for the pre-industrial period. Uh, the preliminary findings of the WMO's annual state of the global climate report released earlier this month found this year was likely to be the second or third warmer since um, records uh, began. Uh, for my uh, brief commentary, uh, I wouldn't trust the word of Professor James Rennick further than I could throw the man. Uh, he says here about this absolutely huge bit of news Oh, it's just a patch of water that's had a lot of sunny skies and not much wind. Uh, it's not uncommon to see patches of warmer water off New Zealand, but this magnitude of four, five, up to six degrees is pretty unusual. Well, Professor Renwick, uh, do you know the difference between pretty unusual and unprecedented? You tell me when the last time that a million square kilometers of ocean with six degrees above zero. Uh, so let's just go beyond that and just have a, uh, well, uh, he said, it, oh, it's probably just a thin layer of ocean that has warmed up and there hasn't been any wind to cool it for several weeks. Uh, last summer, 
A marine heat wave around New Zealand waters led to hot, stuffy air temperatures across m much of the country, and scientists observe subtropical fish swimming far further south. Well, this, um, well, no, the statement is true, but it's actually a lie. It's a, it's a gross lie, um, uh, because I first noticed it in perhaps winter 2016. It wasn't even mentioned for months and months, uh, uh, and it was only mentioned by Niwa when they had to because uh, conditions were such that they couldn't ignore it any longer. And the heat wave, the marine heat wave was there for 2016, 2017, 2018. That is uh, getting on to three years and then it slowly dissipated over um, 2019. So uh, that is absolutely, uh, it's a lie by omission because he fails to, note, to mention the, uh, uh, the preceding, um, the preceding uh, uh, years. So let's just go on. So he says, uh, oh, it's just a patch of water that's had a lot of sunny skies and not much wind. Well, it's very hard to kind of uh, disprove that. I'd have to go over the records for uh, for many months, but just let's just have a look over the last few days when this is over which this has come to prominence. So uh, this is New Zealand. This is the view from NASA World View. And this is New Zealand here, uh, and the blob, as far as I know, is somewhere out here. Oh, that really looks like a cloudless sky to me. It must be a lot of sun. I mean, what a load of nonsense. This New Zealand has been covered either in thick cloud or by thin uh cirrus cloud which constantly whenever the sun comes out uh, the sun is always uh, uh, blotted out by this uh, by this thin cloud that keeps in the heat I believe and are we to believe that this uh, kind of some sort of uh, system has become uh, stuck in the um, in the southwestern Pacific and is and it's not moving. Well, I think that this uh, gives the lie to it, and I'm sure if I went back over the last month, I could prove it. So let's just have a look at his other thing. Uh, yeah, lots of wind. Well, as we know, New Zealand is amongst one of the most uh, windy places on the planet, and this is not an exception. Again, here we are. A small area here where there's, where, you know, where there's no wind, a gap between two wind systems, and uh, I can't see it here, but I think this measured uh, 40, 40 kilometers per hour. So this is roughly kind of where the blob is in here. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> no winds, yes, yes, um, uh, Professor, uh, thousands will believe you, I'm sure. So here we are, um, back to where we were. So uh, just about everything I've come across in recent years from uh, Radio New Zealand, from Niwa, from this, from this Turkey, uh, anywhere uh, is a complete misrepresentation. Um, New Zealanders are not like Australians. We're, we're not brash. Like uh, like the Australians who are more like the Americans, uh, we're just we're more like the English. Uh, we're just massively um, hypocritical and full of double standards, and uh, yeah, we 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 tell nice little white lies. Uh, we don't tell big ones like Scott Morrison. So there is a difference uh, between New Zealanders and their cousins across the Tasman in that in that sense. Um, but if you're doing the constant research, it takes about five seconds to see through what they're saying. So anyway, 
Uh, that's me uh, from Down Under, uh, Seymour Rocks.